I've become quite a fan of Disney's classic nature documentary, so I was really looking forward to The White Wilderness. This was originally released in 1958, and it's directed, of course, by James Algar and narrated by Winston Heibler or Heibler. And this one, as the title suggests, focuses on the Arctic. We have a lot of very snowy conditions, um, a lot of kind of water-based animals, but we also have some land animals as well, including wolves and, um, well, lemmings, which I will talk about in a moment because there's potentially something problematic with that. But the actual setup of the narrative is the same as Disney's other um, nature documentaries. We have uh, an invisible camera person filming animals in their natural habitat, in theory. Um, and explaining what they're doing. Of course, there's some um, almost anthropomorphizing of the characters of them. For example, there's polar bears having a snowball fight, very human characteristics. And I think it helps us to relate to them more, to give us a better understanding of their characters and their personalities or personalities we humans might think that they have. It's a good look at the, the environments, the locations, how the animals interact with one another. Not so much compared to a lot of other nature documentaries from Disney, this one didn't have too many animals interacting with other species. And I'm just going to assume that that's because that doesn't happen that often in this part of the world. But it was well shot, very well narrated, easy to follow, a lot of great facts in it that I, I'm going to assume are correct, but you know, feel free to point anything out. And it was enjoyable. It's actually probably my least favourite. Of all of the ones I've watched so far, I think this is my least favourite, and that's probably because I don't care about the Arctic that much, insofar as I don't want to visit it. I have no real interest in seals and other kind of water-based or chilly environment-based environment animals. So none of the animals, apart from the lemmings, I found to be cute or that interesting to look at visually, although the white whales definitely, I think. So yeah, there were a couple, but generally speaking, comparatively, it doesn't appeal to me as much as some of other Disney's some of Disney's other documentaries from around this time. So the Lemmings. Now I will say when I watched this, I was aware of this. What I'm going to explain, but I would absolutely not have picked up on this if I'd not read about it. And I think that's kind of the point they're making. According to well Wikipedia, the Lemmings scene was actually faked. It wasn't filmed on location. They actually brought Lemmings back to the studio and allegedly threw them off of the cliff into the water so that they had some footage to go along with this narrative that lemmings throw themselves to death for no apparent reason and needless to say if that is true i don't know if it's ever been confirmed as truth but if it is wow <laughs> yeah talk about animal cruelty you know I i'm assuming that there are no credits saying no animals were harmed in the making of this i hope there aren't um if that is true so that's a little bit awkward but had i not read that I wouldn't have noticed it. It's definitely not something that looks obvious or anything, which I, again, I think is part of the problem because it's it's misleading and also cruel, if it's true. But otherwise, it's a pretty decent nature documentary. It's not my favourite, but if you're a fan of nature documentaries and indeed Disney's other nature documentaries, I think it's worth checking out.